So for this look, I'm going to start by applying MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pots all over my eye area, right the way across underneath the brow, right the way through. And the colour I'm going to use is, and if you catch it on the camera there, it's called Soft Ochre. Just a second, see that there. I'm going to apply it right the way up and underneath my existing eyebrow, and right the way into the nose. I'm using this as a primer all over. I'm taking it out roughly to the angle equivalent between the corner of my nose and the outside of my eye here. Right into the socket line. Apply that both sides. Before it dries too much, I'm going to buff that all the way out. To the socket line, the crease there. Just soften those edges a little bit as we're going. I'm just going to emphasize the top area a little bit by using a MAC uh, Vanilla, I believe it's called here. And I'm just going to apply this underneath the brow again, and this will help to set to again right into the bridge of the nose all the way up out to the corner of your eye and I haven't done my eyebrows at this stage I'll fill them in when I've finished I want to make sure I can get the maximum amount of lift into my eyes as possible. Okay, once I'm happy with that. I'm then going to take a dark colour here, which is a cranberry, which is a red sort of colour here, and I'm going to apply that into the socket line. So Let's work that in all the way into the socket line. So push the brush right deep in and keep working it back and forth. Right the way down into the tip drop. Don't worry if it gets onto your lid. in that socket line. Once you got in there quite deeply, I'm going to push it out right the way almost to the edge of the brow and start filling that in in an arch equivalent to where the brow line goes around. into almost your tear duct, arch it all the way in, and 
repeat on the other side to make it the same angle if possible. Keep it quite high. Again, taking it right into your tear duct and around. What I'm going to do at this stage take the blending brush again and blend those edges out a bit more so they're softer. Using quite a large blending brush here because I'm trying to cover quite a large area. So that's what you think. Good there. Now, what I want to do is to take the Mac, I think we called it, what was it called? Old Gold here, and I'm going to apply that all the way over my lid. So, this is an iridescent, iridescent or a pigmented colour, it's quite strong. Be a little bit careful when you apply it because it can go everywhere. So, just gently pat it on to start with. You can see it's coming up a very, very strong gold reflective colour. Really work it in right the way into the tear duct. Now we can we see we're overlaying this on the previous red that we built into or the cranberry we built into the socket line. So take it all the way down to your lash line and keep working it back and forth and blending it in right the way back to the socket line. And these iridescent or pigmented colours have a lot of punch to them so they're very very reflective, quite dramatic. it right to the edge and again push it backwards into the socket line. Just on the edge here and I'm going to be building some dark colouring around the outside of my eyes a little bit later on. So I'm not too worried if I don't keep the edges here. Again I'm just Tailing this edge out and pushing it right into the corners. Don't be afraid to pack it on. So we're just going to overlay onto the cranberry colour we put in originally. See they're starting to pop a little bit now the eyes. Now what I'm going to be doing in a minute is to tail the edges out a little bit. I just want to make sure I've got enough colour on the edge here which is fine. The gold in there. I'm just going to fill in the corresponding little bit just here. I'm just going to start to line the top part of my eyelid with a bit of dark colouring and I'm going to use this liquid eyeliner here by MAC. I'm going to concentrate on just getting 
a relatively narrow black line right the way across the top of my eye, bringing it into a point near my tear duct. Corner edge, I always come backwards here. A little bit easier for me to control. Now I'm going to be using quite large lashes, and I prefer to use dark adhesive glue so I can go quite thick on this line here. Again, I'm just going to tick it back in to the bottom section of my eye here. Just feed it in like that. Now I'm going to slowly take one nice little sweeping motion from the outside of my eye upwards to give me a little bit of tick. Just pop it into the corner of my eye, fill it up and then simply draw it back along the line just to fill that edge in. nice and tidy. Make it slightly fatter on the edge here. So got a nice swept tick on the eye. And again the same the other side a little bit. Make sure I get into the corners. And I'll finish this off using a cold pencil. This is Smolder by MAC. I'm going to do the bottom waterline. Side. So the inside of the eye. But in the inside of the eye it makes it a lot darker. Also work the pencil into the root of the lashes as well, just to make sure that's all well covered. And now I'm going to build my eyebrows in using a eyebrow brush and some eyebrow powder here. This is the shade medium. Let's very gently stroke in these eyebrows of mine. And fill them in. I like to use this powder because it just picks up on my own hairs and it's not harsh. That's it, so I want them to go out to where the outside there. Just build them up slowly to get the right shape. Try and get them even across the top here. I'm going to apply a set of quite dramatic lashes, they're DB15 and they're from Amazing Shine and I like to place the glue or the adhesive onto my lashes first along the black line I've already created. Pop that one on first. And repeat the other side. Again, be careful when you apply 
I find it easier to do it this way myself. But you may find it a lot easier to put it onto the lashes directly. them into position like so now what I'm going to do is pop a little bit of gold glitter on the top just to emphasize that top section a little bit and there's always a lot of fallout we see on the camera. Just put a little bit on a flat brush and just gently pat it in. You can use any of the residue glue that we've got right down here that would help to stick the glitter on. Push it all the way back to the socket. So now what I want to do is blend my lashes together, my natural ones with the false ones, using a little bit of mascara, so let's just ease them together. Top and bottom. Finally, I think I want to add a little bit more punch to the outside area here. So what I'm going to do is add a bit of glamour sparks in gold to make that shine out a little bit more. This is a very pillowy type of glitter. That's finer than the MAC one. I'm just going to gently ease that in around this area. It's a golden colour. Overlaying it a little bit on that cranberry colour that we blended in earlier. Particularly right near the nose section here. Build it up slowly. You're going to get fallout, but it's a very light glittery substance, so it does brush it away quite easy. Just pad it on if you're not sure. There we go. And just for the last bit of definition, what I'm going to do is just put a little bit more definition underneath it bottom of my brow by using some white concealer just to define the lines just a fraction more particularly high arch bit on the inside gently going to ease that in more of a dramatic effect and finally I think I'm just going to set up with a little bit more glamour sparks. You can never have too much glitter. Oh. 
and there we go I hope you liked it smash a like below if you did uh, any comments would be appreciated and have a great day